the whole land. <laughs> How bad is the infiltration? I mean, like, um, is there any local bases that you have identified? It has not started yet because the, the offensive only just started today. So um, intelligence have informed me um, and also international intelligence have informed me the numbers are not going to be small. Either they go back to the countries of origin, whether to France or other countries, or they find safe havens or they see as safe havens in certain regions. So we have to be very proactive. Uh, we, are, we are not sure about the numbers as yet because the offensive has not really started in full. But we have to take uh, proactive measures to make sure that in the event that the numbers are big in our region, um, the, the, the threat that we face is also faced by our own leadership in, in ASEAN. The coalition have been planning it for the last few months and my visit to the Pacific Command uh, last few weeks, um, that is one of the matters that I discussed with Ashton Carter. And with me, there were 10 other defence ministers from ASEAN. They were also privy to the plans. Then I moved on to France, where, as you know, attacks by Daesh is rampant, and they have faced so many um, um, challenges in dealing with Daesh. They, are, too, are very concerned. Turkey is directly involved in the coalition and uh, the involvement in Mosul, Raqqa and Aleppo. So those are the three very strategic partners that Malaysia is working very closely with on this matter.